Welcome to the Curious Giraffe Show for curious kids of all ages, where there's always a song and no question is wrong. So we're going to start with our Curious Giraffe song and listen for the last verse so you know what today's topic is going to be. Giraffe looked over at Eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Giraffe looked over at zebra and said, Why do I have spots? Why do you have stripes? Zebra just shrugged and said, We come in all types, but we all share one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share. so tall why are you so fast jaguar just shrugged and said it's all a blast but we all share one big sky oh yeah share one big sky share one big sky give the world a big high five yeah we're different and we know it but we all get along because we can all share and we can all care we're different but we all belong Giraffe looked over at snake and said, Why do I like to stretch? Why do you like to curl? Snake just shrugged, let's give it all a whirl as we all share one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share. That was a great warm-up. So, we've had a lot of verses. Who would like to tell us what today's show is going to be about? I guess Aurelia would like to. Go ahead. Exercising. Exercising. So, can you guess why Giraffe has this helmet on? What do you do with helmets? You ride bikes. Bikes? Well, with that kind of helmet. This kind of helmet is a bike helmet. But what? you can also skateboard or horseback ride. I don't think giraffe would horseback ride. That's all right. Giraffe is <laughs> pretending to be a person. So types of exercise that a person might do where they wear a helmet. She named a couple. Anybody think of others? Uh, I'm thinking of a scooter, but you don't have to use a helmet. You use a scooter. You okay, Sometimes. but it's a great idea. Sometimes. Okay. And what sport? Well, let's name, yes. Go ahead, Monet. That's for tennis. Right. And can you think of other racket sports? Well, they have one that is for racquetball, but that's a different that's kind of sport. That's correct. Racquetball, tennis, anything else? Badminton. Badminton, yes. Um, I'm thinking of cricket and baseball. That's They're, not really That's a different, but yeah. great. Those are different exercises. We'll, we'll certainly count them. Um, I just learned about a new racket sport called pickleball. Anybody ever heard of that? It's sort of like tennis, but you can set it up in your driveway if you have a, a safe driveway to set it up in. It's smaller but fun. So I am curious, for each of you, is there a way that you like to exercise? Yes. Play basketball outside. Basketball outside. Okay, let's start with, oh, look, go ahead. What else? Um, swimming. Swimming. Indoors or outside? Or do you outside. have a preference? Outside. Lila? Biking. 
Biking. Naya. I'm the same as Monet. I like swimming. And do you prefer inside or outside? Well, outside like in the lake. Yeah, so summertime we love to be swimming outside. Yes, Maxwell. Camping. Camping. How is How that exercise? exercise? That's well, because you're walking. <laughs> you and walk? sometimes what you have to you? gather food and light the fire. It's not general exercise, but it's mental. Work. Well, you do have to carry things to your campsite. And it's also hiking. It's yeah, also you hiking. use a lot of different muscles. It's not usually thought of as a, we're not, we didn't say sports, we just said <clears> exercise. <throat> so I think we can stretch beyond sure. a planned sport well, to other kinds of movement. Yeah, go ahead. Um, soccer, biking, and yoga. Soccer, biking, and yoga. Oh, so she has stretched us too. So, yes. Tai Chi. And Tai Chi. Thank you. That is a natural segue. We have a visitor today. Master Ken LaCours has been willing to come and share with us about Tai Chi. And I'm thrilled to have him come on up, Ken. Sure. And you can have my spot and enjoy a conversation with the kids about some of the sports and exercise that you know about. How are you guys doing up there? Good. Good? Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, I started the martial arts when I was uh, about nine years old. And so it was a long time ago for me anyways. And the, uh, you know, the martial arts is an, it's, it's a great exercise program. It's good for your mind. Okay. And good for goal setting and everything else that goes with it. Uh, recently I had injured myself. And I used a martial arts like you're saying, Tai Chi. Yeah, I've been a Tai Chi instructor for 24 years. And it got me back on my feet again, pretty much. I'm not all the way there yet, but, but I'm pretty close. Okay. So do you, any of you have any questions about the martial arts? Or, yes, sir. Where did the Tai Chi originate? Oh, that would be back in China. Okay. And so okay, the monks would use the... Uh, you got to remember, the martial arts was pretty much at the beginning, like an exercise program to get the monks off their butts to get them exercise and moving. Okay. And that's, that's a good idea, get people moving. Okay. Anybody else? Um, Being all quiet about it, I think. Being all quiet. Um, yes, sir. Do you know how many types of martial arts there are? To be honest with you, I, I really don't. It, is, uh, it started out as a, as a very small thing in China, then it's grown immensely from that, that point. Yeah, you have new things like, uh, they call the martial arts like an MMA thing on TV. A, oh. And uh, that's gone kind of past what we do, but the, you know, I'd rather be on the side of costume with kids, and because I teach kids from age four up to age sixty, and so it's a big, big range of people, and so. Yes, sir. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for uh, thir thirty-five years, uh, since nineteen eighty, and so it's been a lot of fun. Okay, met a lot of different people, and it's uh, it's just, yeah. it's good for me, and so. What do you want? One guy's asked all the questions. I know. But it's okay. No, no problem. Uh, I think I've been in your class for like yep. seven years now. Yep. Yeah. But you still. It's a lot of fun working with you. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I met you guys when you were about four or five years old. Cool. Yeah. yeah. You're pretty crazy then. You, yeah. You mellowed yeah. out, thank yeah. God. But yeah. The, uh, which well, is great. Well, but it's been a lot of fun. Well, well, well. And so. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't have big names now. Okay. And so, again, the martial arts, you know, you do a lot of kicking, do a lot of punching. Okay. What's the first thing I have you guys do when you come into class? Exercise. 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 Ah, jumping Hold jacks, push-ups, sit-ups, mm -hmm. and yeah. make you stretch out. Do all the things you need to do. There's a lot of times what, what a lot of kids do all day long. Sit around. Sit around. Yeah. You know, they play with their uh, video games or whatever. <laughs> but you need to get out there and exercise your mind. Get the same. Yes, ma'am. I used to take um, martial arts for like a year and okay. a half or something. Cool. Um, yeah. And... Um, I did Aikido. Cool. That's real good. Oh, Excellent. So it's, it's a crane style. Okay. It's a lot, that's a lot of fun. A lot of throws. Okay. And the wrong hands, that can be pretty dangerous. Okay. Yeah. Your instructor really good? Hmm? Was your instructor really good? Yes. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. He was a really good instructor. What's that? You were a really good instructor. Oh, well, thank you. And so, the, uh, any other questions? questions? How about you, Xavier? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ranging about how many forms and combinations do you have? Oh, well, in the uh, in the Valar system, there's 108 combinations. Okay. okay, I have about 80 80 of the combinations, fighting techniques that you're talking about. Okay. Form wise, I have uh, you know you're calling them katas and pinions and weapons forms and all that. I have about 40 40 forms. 
And so, and right now you guys are working like you know, 14 of them, which is really good. Yeah. Doing really good with them. Okay. What was really interesting, the, uh, was it you or, or Max asked me to teach you the Tai Chi class, uh, Tai Chi exactly. form? And I was amazed how quickly you guys <laughs> caught into it. Yeah. And it was, uh, that was, that was pretty cool. Because the form by itself, is, it's almost 12 minutes long. I know. And uh, if you do it nice and slow. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not like the other action forms where you're, you know, you're punching and kicking really hard in the air all the time. Yeah. Or doing rolls, whatever. But these are, you know, it's a lot more simplified. It's a lot more rhythmic. And it's a really pretty form when it's done right. And so. Okay. Before I ask you to go, I'm yes. just wondering, could you show us just maybe a minute worth of moving through some of the moves, or is, do you uh, have enough You really space? don't have enough room for We to, don't. Thing. Can you just show a couple? I think part of why some of us are so quiet is they don't know what Tai Chi looks like. Tai Chi. Okay. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, so is there a little bit you could show us or okay. not? I could do a little bit. You, you, need a, you need a lot of space. The Tai Chi okay, form I'm will take up. I'm to stand up. Thing. Okay. It would take actually this whole wall oh, to wall type thing. No, you can't so, do any of it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Ken. Sure. And if you want to learn more or, and take classes with Ken, since he said he teaches people from age four to 60, yes, I do. you can um, follow the information on this screen and look him up. Very good. Thank you very so much. So thank you very yeah, much. It's thank a you. pleasure to meet okay. you. Same. And I just will speak from experience. Thank you that I was on at the ocean one day and learned that these guys knew, had been taking Tai Chi. And not only did they show me, but they taught probably another eight or nine or 10 adults to do some of the moves. So it was very exciting. So we have another song. And this is, Kind of about that for some people the martial arts like Tai Chi are something that makes you feel good and strong and growing in your body and, and spirit but for some people other types of sports um, are good exercise so we're going to try this new song so many ways to be smart this sign means smart so here we go so many ways to be smart so many ways to be smart With your hand, your feet, your head or your heart So many ways to be smart Some folks are good at numbers and math Some folks are good at making you laugh Some folks are good at building a go-kart So many ways to be smart So many ways to be smart With your hands, your feet, your head, your heart So many ways to be smart Some folks are good at reading books Some folks are good at reading people's looks Some folks are good at drawing an art So many ways to be smart Ay, 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 so many ways to be smart so many ways to be smart With your hands, your feet, your head or your heart So many ways to be smart Some folks are good at basketball Running or swimming or volleyball Some folks like yoga and tai chi Smart ways to use our energy Oh, so many ways to be smart So many So many ways to be smart. Very nice. Okay. So let's stand up and move for a minute. And here, I'm going to let the... Okay, pup can rest back there. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Let's just move a little bit. Okay. We'll warm up. Let's exercise our body starting with our arms today. Exercise your body. Exercise your mind. Learn about the world around and exercise kind. Exercise your body. Exercise your mind. Learn about the world around and exercise kind. 
this way. Exercise your body, exercise your mind. Learn about the world around and exercise kind. Very nice. Have a seat. And let's see what story is waiting for us in the mystery box. Let's see. Okay, these are a hint. What are these? Anybody? Canteens. Canteens is one word for them. And, or, Maya? Water bottles. Water bottles. And this one I really like because I can push the button there and it opens the spout. And when I let go, even if it tips over, it doesn't spill. But this one stays nice and cold. You have two ways to get your drink that way or opening the top like a spout. So this is a story that I found in the newspaper in May and I wrote a song about it that we'll do afterwards but this is a true story and it was written Tuesday May 5th 2015. Runners rescued on range Fire Chief urges better plans for the Seven Sisters race. I forgot. Okay, so this race takes place in the Pioneer Valley on the Holyoke Range. And this is called the Seven Sisters Mountain Race because somebody figured out that there are seven tops to this ridge and this has become a famous race and I'm going to read to you about it. Maya, will you just hold that like that? Okay, great. All right, so this happened in Amherst. Two emergency incidents involving participants in the Seven Sisters Trail Race on Sunday prompted the Amherst Fire Chief to ask organizers to add more water stops. The annual 12-mile run takes participants through the peaks of the Mount Holyoke Range in Amherst, Hadley and South Hadley. The two rescue efforts in the area of Bear Mountain near the Notch Sunday afternoon involved runners showing symptoms of dehydration. Anybody know what dehydration is? Okay, a bunch of you have a thought. Monet. It's when um, you are um, having trouble because of lack of water. Your body's yes. having trouble because of lack of water. Excellent. Anybody? Else want to say something? When you don't have enough liquid in your body, for instance, if you don't have enough water, Gatorade, uh, juice, soda. Okay, great. I'm good. Okay, great. Uh, okay, in one case, a runner who became dehydrated on the course continued through to the finish line, despite being advised to stop the race for treatment. Paramedics were first called to the scene at 1243 when a Department of Conservation and Recreation ranger at the state park alerted the Amherst Fire Department that a runner in his early 20s was experiencing dehydration. The eight paramedics arrived with an ambulance, engine, and rescue truck. Now sometimes when you start a newspaper article, they, they write the rest of it on a different page. So I'm turning to what says page five. And here it is, runners overheat. So that's the article I'm going to. Okay, a team of rescuers trekked up Bear Mountain, found the man and brought him down. Probably this kid had not done a lot of training and he overextended himself. So the victim was taken by ambulance to Cooley Dickinson Hospital in Northampton for treatment. Runners follow the New England National Scenic Trail formerly called the Metacomet Monadnock Trail, on an outback route from the Notch on Route 116 to a turnaround point near Route 47 and the Summit House at Skinner State Park. Water stops are stocked with jugs of water positioned every two miles. Okay. Now, the second rescue had more problems. Okay, the, so I'm going to paraphrase now to save time. Another person realized he was getting dehydrated and called for help. 
and the paramedics said, stay where you are, we will come and help you. But that person's friends said, come on, come on, we can do it, we can do it, just push on, you'll make it, let's go. And they pushed on to the end of the race. But the paramedics had come and had to take, take longer to get to him because he had moved from where he had first called. So they urge at the end of the article, they say, please, if you call for help, stay where you are when you call and we can help you sooner. So that was something people learned from that race. Um, the Seven Sisters Trail had 430 finishers this year. Um, and this trail is included on the list of best trail races. The race benefits the Friends of Mount Holyoke Range, which works with the state to purchase and preserve land. What does that mean, preserve land? Yes. To keep it in like in shape and stuff, I guess. In what kind of shape? In good shape. In its natural shape, yeah, not to develop it. Um, the race has raised more than $75,000 over 25 years of the race. So um, I thought that was an important story and I wrote a song about it after I read the paper. Thank you. Yes? The Seven Sisters. Yes? On one of the sides of them, my school was on. Because so we can see the Seven Sisters and the fourth grade walks on it every day. Isn't that great? On Monday and Friday. So her school walks on the Seven Sisters. I am happy to hear that. I, Lila, thank you. Okay, I'm going to let this rest here, and we're going to do the song, Follow With Me. Twelve miles is pretty far. Here we go. So start the race. Oh, make sure everybody has your water bottle. Everybody have your water bottles? Make sure it's full. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. We're full of energy. The beginning of the race. Ready? Twelve miles through the Holy Oak Range, twelve miles through the mountains, twelve miles I'm gonna make that run, push myself through the mountains, over the Seven Sister Mountains. Your heart's working. Heart is pounding on the Holy Oak Range, heart is pounding in the mountains. Heart pump stronger, gonna make that run. Push myself through the mountains, over the Seven Sister Mountains. Feet growing heavy on the Holy Oak Range. Feet growing heavy in the mountains. Feet going slower, gonna make that run. Push myself through the mountains, over the Seven Sister Mountains. I'll sing the last part. Wishing for more water, throat went dry long ago. My water bottle's empty, should have stopped a while ago. Feeling faint and feeling dizzy, but I gotta go on. Gonna finish what I started without water. <sighs> Convince myself that I can go much farther. Oh, when I get there, gonna drown myself in water. <laughs> okay, so that was based drown on a true story. As in swimming water? Swimming water. If you can dive into a lake, that would be nice. But what did I learn from reading that article? Should I push on if no. I'm getting that tired? No. Yeah. If my heart and my throat are telling me, you're really tired. Your body needs to rest. That comes first, even if they say the finish line. But I'm just curious. We all have different personalities. Um, when you have a challenge, when it gets hard, do you like to push on or do you say to yourself, it's okay if I rest? Well, how do you feel, Aurelia? It depends. It depends? On what the challenge is. It depends. Like what? Um, I don't know. I know I just had this one thing, like, 
if I was going to do something and I was a little bit afraid to do it. Mm -hmm. Like I would tell myself, you can do this, it's fine to do it. There we go, you give yourself but, a pep talk. Right, yeah. but so that's when I can push myself, but if I'm like getting tired and I can't do something anymore because I'm feeling sick or dizzy, then I have to stop. Then you tell yourself, like if I, I have to stop. Like if I'm reading a book and I'm like just reading and I get thirsty and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to read this book anymore because I'm thirsty now. You're going to get a drink. Anybody no, no, else? No, I don't do that. Oh, you so don't do that because like, you can just not, read. Yeah, I can, you like, can. I can go get a drink and then keep on reading the book, but I'm not going to be like, oh, I can't read this book anymore today. I see. I have to go drink. Yeah, <laughs> okay, because you can read it more. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to... I'm going to ask you to flip back to so many ways to be smart. And did you want to respond to that question? Uh -huh. Sometimes I'll push on depending on how possible it is. Depending on how possible it is. Okay, you have to make your best judgment. Like in that, if I'm like over two miles and there's like eight mile, there's like ten miles to go, and I'm like, gotta go. And I'm like, that's a little unrealistic right there. <laughs> okay. So I think we're going to end with being smart about it. It's smart to exercise. It's smart to find exercise that you like. And um, it's also smart to listen to your body and know when to rest. Aha, uh -huh. I just remembered what I would oh, push okay. myself for. What? Um, so in yoga, there's this thing called stretch pose. Okay. Where you have to lift your head, your feet, and your arms up six inches off the ground and do like... Um, it's like, it's called Breath of Fire. It's like fast breathing, but it's like not like, <laughs> it's not short, shallow breath. Do you know it's how like, to do it? Mm -hmm. Can you show us? <laughs> breath of Fire. Yeah, so that's what it's called, and that's how it goes. Yeah. And it's not like, <laughs> okay. I'm taking a little breath and then pushing out a ton because then you're going to get lightheaded. So little bits. In and out, in and out, in and no, out. No, it's like deep Big breathing, breath. but uh, it's deep breathing, but fast. And okay, everybody, so try it for a minute. Go for it. It's really, it's hard. Go ahead, to do that. show them again. <laughs> okay, thank you. We're feeling very healthy. But then, um, and it's at first when I like first when I learned the pose, I could only do it for like five seconds. Okay. And now I can do it for four. All right. So, it's pretty hard pose. Okay. Do. Well, I just remembered um, that I had a gift for you all, and it's because I believe that the exercise that you choose needs to be enjoyable. <laughs> and we're going to finish up, and I'm just going to show our home audience. They're each going to get a Curious Giraffe homemade Frisbee that they can play catch with in the fields, and run and, and have a good time with. So um, let's, everybody, let's thank our audience. Thank you, thank you for being you. here today. Okay. And we'll see you, you next time, time on the Curious Giraffe Show, Show for curious, curious kids, kids of, of all, all ages. ages. Bye. Bye. Do, 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 do.